Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rixa Queen and how are you queens? Oh my god, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a long awaited video. It's finally me sitting down talking about new makeup releases. Oh my god, it's been a hot minute since I've done this. The beauty community has had so many makeup launches. It's too, oh my god, I'm like down here. You, you, you no, know, get up. Okay. A lot of launches, a lot of launches coming out. I'm very excited for all the launches. What is the tea with all the launches? I want to know the tea. I want to know what's coming out. I know a lot of brands are coming out. I know Jacqueline is throwing out products left and right over here. ColourPop is coming out with collections. Morphe, all these people. And I'm just like, honey, I need to speak. Can you talk about it? But queens, thank you for joining this video. It's so exciting to see you queens back on my channel. Thank you for all the love and support you've been showing me on my recent videos. It's been a lot of love. I'm just like, thank you. It means a lot to me. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much, queens. Please like and subscribe if you haven't to my channel. Uh, like this video. P turn your post notifications on queens. We have to have a palace notification squad, honey. Like, honey, I know some of y'all palace queens be wake up and you're like, oh, we gotta go watch your queen. But, honey, for the girls who don't, you gotta go watch. You gotta go put the ding ding ding. Just put a little ding 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 ding, honey. Because, honey, we're giving you videos. I try doing two a week. I try doing two a week. So, yeah, just look out for them. But, queens, yeah, sweet. Queens, let's get into the video. I'm really excited for this shoot all these videos today. Let's talk about the new makeup collection. The first thing I see on trend mood is Tasha Denona's rainbow, like rainbow eyeshadow? Girl, 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 what's going on here? Miss Beautylish. It's uh, Tasha Denona Loco, uh, Croco Loco Coco Honey. It's a colorful store with 15 different eyeshadow shades with pearlescent finishes with natural mattes and shimmers for $129. Honey, you can get a $129 Natasha Rainbow palette or you can get a nice Morphe palette that is $30. Really, Tasha Nona? Look it. I'm all here for makeup brands, supporting makeup brands, honey. But when you are lying to a customer saying you're going to get the best formula ever for $129. Never. I should, should never be that expensive. It's literally like a dollar to make an eyeshadow. So it's like, eh, calm down. Like, if I can go to NYX and get the same pigment from NYX, I, I go to NYX or, like, any drugstore and get the same pigment or work to get a similar pigment to this, I don't need to be paying that coin, honey. I can, I can get doing a higher makeup look, buy every single makeup look, $429, like, every product, concealer, contour, foundation, everything. But one eyeshadow palette for $129, it's not going to happen. Touched and noticed. Maybe the products are good, but I've heard so mixed reviews from them. And, you know, for someone in the community... We need to really be, well, if you're going to do makeup brands, let me tell you, please. I've been really on the fence for, you know, I would love to have a makeup brand in the future, but I don't know if that is like, I don't know what, I have a lot of ideas, but just the main source, everyone has one, it wouldn't really be unique, and it's just like, okay, another influencer coming out with a brand, or another beauty guru coming out with a brand, it's like, there's not really much doing, and now seeing what every other influencer is doing, it's like, oh, really, Jacqueline, liquid lipsticks? Liquid lipsticks. I would have rather her just made lipsticks. Like, Jacqueline, I was, I was, when I just saw her new launch, which we'll talk about in it, getting into now, the new Jacqueline Cosmetics launch. Liquid lipsticks are cute, but we need something different. I'm so over, when I launch a brand, I'm launching a highlighter, a lipstick, and eyeshadow, and then we're gonna launch a concealer and then a foundation. I wanna launch a foundation concealer at the same time. You can't be launching concealers or foundations and then not ever, and then wait four years to do anything. I'm not talking about Jacqueline specifically, but there's other brands. I'm just confused about the new lipstick. And I was really concerned about the shade range of the lipsticks. Like, I don't, they didn't look like they went that deep. And I'm going to say it here, and I think we all have to, I think it needs to be said for Jacqueline Cosmetics, because she is a new, she's starting brand. We love an independent owned brand, but it needs to be said. The shade range of her products have been boo. Her highlighter shade range is, is pretty good. Her blushes, no depth to those contours at all at all and i'm gonna be very critical here because look as a consumer i need if i'm gonna buy this product i'm gonna buy it i frankly like jacqueline hill i her brand i would love to try it i would love to you know try it and you know i want to try her brand out but it's an it's a it's a little girl like you please have more depth in your shades like you should have like a deep contour like i saw someone swatch four of those contour palettes there's only seven shades of the blushes and contour does jacqueline think there's only seven shades of people on this earth and they didn't even go to all skin tones like honey like today i don't know why i look so pale on camera hopefully it doesn't look that white if it does then oh honey but i use this morphe contour palette where is it at i don't know it's somewhere over there but 
It's really good. It comes with three shades, a, two shades of bronzer, one contour, a blush, a brightener, and two highlighters, which I think is a very good palette. I kind of wish Jacqueline did that. I wish she did a blush, a highlighter, a contour, and a bronzer. And did little bronzer palettes. I think that would have been much better than the duos. Because I feel like a duo can get very repetitive, like duos, oh, you want to put two blushes, a blush, and a contour. I don't really, uh, not the tea for me. And I think it has to be said because I don't know, a lot of people are now, at, when the first launch I was like, well, you know, it's, you can have your summer shade. Well, not everyone's going to have your summer shade, you know? It's like, who can this bronze? Like, I'm pretty sure the darkest shade was not that dark. And then when I was watching, like, um... I only saw people with lighter skin tones review because I don't, I didn't, because a lot of the deeper skin tones either didn't get in PR or, or I'm going to be really critical, it didn't work on their skin tone. Okay, Jacqueline, launch your little breast of bronzers and blushes. Oh, and then even the blushes look so unpigmented. I saw someone swatch out blush. Nothing went on her face. Like she was like, girl, she was literally like this to the pan. She was like, girl. And, and it, nothing's happening. She's literally rubbing the pan and no pigments getting picked up. So I'm a little confused. The one thing I will say about her brand is I like the brushes and I really want, I want to try the brushes and the highlighters. I really want to try the highlighters. But to me, the I would like to try everything from her. I would like to try the liquid lipsticks. But I'm just saying in general, her brand to me is already, her core, she's like, we're having a core collection. I think it's very much, it's very like Jeffree Star where it's all hype. But not that it's not good when you open it. But someone like Rare Beauty, they get a lot of hype. But it's not because their packaging's different or anything. It's because they're making products that are trend-setting the product for the future. They are making packaging. Seem like NYX. This isn't that. This is not that inventive. But the fact that they, when they sell these lipsticks, they're fighting with every lipstick on the market, and these lipsticks are so good. And so I'm just saying, like. When you're fighting with a market where there's thousands of lipsticks in the market, one liquid lip may not change it. Just like when Jeffrey did his and other brands like Kat Von D and, and Lime Crime who did these liquid lips, there's not many liquid lips out there, but now every brand has liquid lips. So what is the difference between this one, that one, and Jacqueline's? I need to make sure, because even if the formula is good, I may not even like any of the shade. Like 15 shades is I feel like a little low for a lipstick. I would like her just to do 20. But I'm very critical on this because I think we need to talk about it because makeup now, it needs to be more exciting because I feel like it's just like, you know. But I'm going to get off the jacket because we all are like, girl, I just spent uh, seven minutes talking about Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics. Oh my God, I was so shady. I can't believe I spent this long talking about Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics, honey. Girl, 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 girl. Right as I'm talking, another up look at the a new ColourPop collection. Right as I'm talking, two minutes ago this was posted. It's called the Lamon Celino Collection. This is a cute collection from ColourPop. I like it. I like the little liners, the soul body stuff. I like the lip, their lip glosses are so good. Again, okay, the cream sticks go pretty deep. There is a little bit more depth, like a little bit more like huge to this palette. Come here. I, okay, where is my ColourPop palette at? Because I really want to talk about what I used today. I didn't use this one, but I used, this, I used the pinky one of these. Okay, so... I really like just I use the pink one. I don't wear it really work know whether it is ah oh, I wish I had it. It doesn't matter, but I use one of these and I will say like there's not a lot of depth to this. This one has a little bit more depth to it. I like these shades on camera, they're not popping up, but this is like a really dark shade. But I just wish you know this had like a black in here instead of like this. Cause I'm not using this ugly bronzy shade. Like I'm never gonna use that. I'm sorry. I hate bronzy shades. Like I think those bronzy shades like you look so like dead and they don't really make you look flattering i know some people like that but i'm just not the biggest fan of those shades and um, i think ColourPop is on a right trend and i think they're trying to improve but i think they're not trying enough and i don't feel like i just need them to be like just collaborate with someone who gets the cosmetics brand in it calibrate with someone that really will take your brand to the next level because i feel like color plop is color plop color plop is clear plopping and they're realizing okay um, I will look on my website and there's still, there's, at least they're trying. They're trying. Is it good enough? I don't know. That's why I also go to Jacqueline. They're trying, but I don't, it's not, it's nowhere near good enough. And I just don't, I don't see it. I want to just tell every single makeup brand, this is how you do bronzers. There is shades, it looks like shades here for every skin tone. I think this is a, such a beautiful range of bronzers here. That's how you do bronzers. You don't necessarily need bronzers for 
a billion skin tones. There's six shades here. But in these six shades, there's so much shade range that can go for every skin tone. This looks super good compared to the Jaclyn ones. I didn't even have, like, the one, they were not even deep enough. I will say, like, this is beautiful. This is how you do cosmetics. This is so beautiful. Do I think there should be more shades? Yes. I think they could expand. I think there should be more. I think they can go deeper and deeper and just go I also think they go lighter because I feel like it's a little deep for um some very fair skin tones. But I think it's a very good six pan mega bronzers. I'm very excited for them. I may want to get one. They're only they're only sixteen dollars. I like these. I really do like these. I think this is what uh, colored range is slang. I love their cosmetics brand. I've actually tried them before. I think they're really cute. I'm really happy that they have really good shade range because that shows a brand that they're going to listen to the consumer and they know that shades like this and bronzer, I don't ever see that in cosmetics. I don't. I really don't. And I'm happy we're seeing that because it's very, very, very concerning when we don't. Means we have a new uh, collection from ooh, Amora Cosmetics. Okay, they have a blush. Ooh, they have a blush thingy, which I think, let me be real. The photo's beautiful, beautiful photo. But the blushes themselves look like chalk. They look like chalk, baby. They look like they're just gonna... I look like I can draw with that, honey. I like the pattern. I don't really like blushes like that because I don't even know what shade I'm really gonna get. Am I gonna get the pink, the light pink, the mixture, or the orange? The yellow. And blushes, those yellow blushes, I, I see like makeup artists make them look good, but every time I've worn a yellow blush, this is not cute. I'm not the biggest fan of these blushes. I'm going to be real here. These look like chalk. Like, I think with like the printing, they just look so hardly pressed. I think a blush should look soft looking. It should be like feathery. It just goes on the skin. You know? I didn't wear much blush today because I didn't put much on. Should I put some blush on? Maybe it's going to put some blush on. I'm going to put some blush on because I feel like it's a blush moment today. I'm really going in today, girl. I'm, I'm just really going in because I feel like, you know what? In the cosmetics community, we're struggling. It's just a struggle at the moment. The blushes, I think they look cute. They look a little chalky, but that's just my opinion. We have new mono couture, uh, culture couture, new eyeshadow singles. I'm not even going to talk about that. If you can see the photo right here, I will. I will. I'm going to quiet. I'm going to be calm. I'm going to... Send me these feelings I have towards these five shades of eyeshadow. I have such a um, a reaction to these five shades. Such a reaction. And it's not even the shades themselves. It's the brush. Ugh. I can't. Fenty Beauty's coming out with Fenty Hair. Okay. Fenty Hair. I'm excited for Fenty Hair. I, of course, I'm the hair girl. I like Fenty Hair. I'm not angry. I don't know why I was like, e Fenty Hair. No, I do like it. I think it's going to be cute. I want to buy it. Hopefully, it's in Sephora. I want to try Fenty Skin, but I don't know if I like... You know, I just, mm, Fenty hair. I don't know how I feel about Fenty hair. Like, I think it'll be cool. I'm excited for it. Not angry. Next product. We have some new makeup revolution. Say dewy lip glosses. Liquid, bl liquid blush. Liquid blush. Oh my God. Okay, the liquid blush. You know, I, the trend of the liquid blush. I like a creamy blush. I like a lick. I like a cream blush a little more than a liquid blush. Liquid blush to me, it's just very intense. I should be going more intense because I don't go enough on my contour sometimes. But then I feel like ugh, I put, when I put a lot of blush on, I need more contour. When I need a lot, and then I feel like when I put too much contour on, I need tons of blush. And they're just very slip flops, and, and I'm just like super bronze, and it's a lot. So these, I don't know how I feel about the Makeup Revolution. I don't know how I feel about it. It's a little scary to me. Not the biggest fan. But we also know that we are getting new Marc Jake. No, that's Armani. Armani Cosmet. No, or George Armani. Cosmetics. Oh my god. Shade range busted. And honey, this is me remaining positive. The shade range. It's not awful, but no, it's awful. There's 10 shades. What is this? New products. This is a glow enhancer. Okay. There's 10 shades though. Why is there 10 shades of a glow enhancer? <sighs> I'm so over you. I can't. I can't do this video, queens. Brands have real are just I can't. I really am just upset with these cosmetics. I can't. I really can't. Dior has new backstage powders. Nine shades in total. Honestly, do we? Did you even have to look at the photo to realize that, honey? Honey, those swatches. I am appalled by those swatches. They don't look real. They don't look real. Maybe a little. Mm, the lash, like these, don't. Mm, 
They don't really look weird. I'll just say they look like they were facetuned or photoshopped on. Morphe is making new concealers, which, honey, Morphe too. I am appalled by the shade range. Appalled. 15 shades Morphe. How the great have fallen. How the great have actually fallen. Morphe had 60 shades of foundation. And maybe a lot of them made you look green. But they had a shade range. 15 concealers. 15 concealers. Ah! Angry, angry, angry. I'm not even going to talk about it. 15 concealers. Not buying. Not supporting. I'm not supporting that 15 shade range. Means the last launch, the Chipotle XL. I know it's a little old, but let's just talk about it. Chipotle and Elf live for the collection. Best collection ever. I think that's one of the, not ever, but I think it was the best collections we've had all year and probably in the past two years. Let's be real. Actually, the past three. For the past three years, we've had some pretty busted collections. Maybe the past two. Two. 2021, 2020. The collections have not been it. A lot of these collections have been busted. But you know what? Elf is cute. I've been, I love that queens are making, queens brands are making gloss popping lip injection plumpers. I love that. But queens, that's today's video. I know. I have to end it because the vibes that this video is giving me are not positive vibes. Remain positive. Beware, queens. Share your vulnerability. You know, call out these brands. We need to call them out. At the end of the day, we have to call them out. When they're doing... Stuff that is not inclusive and it's just like what and it's like not inclusive for both sides light or dark it's just not inclusive for anyone the door one they look ashy all of them look gray all of them look not good so queens thank you so much for watching this video i'm we're keeping positive we're remaining positive with these makeup brands but it's so hard to queens i love you so much please be rare be a queen i love you be safe be amazing and queens be stunning Ah, I love you.